This video made possible by Buy Mobile. Hey everyone, welcome back to HowTex. Today we're gonna to show you how to change the wallpaper on a Samsung Galaxy S10. So it's pretty simple. You just wanna to go to the settings menu. So if you open up your apps, just swipe up and look for the settings menu. You can also reach it if you swipe down, look for the gear on the top right. But basically look for the gear. So here you can see halfway down, we have wallpapers and themes and it looks like a little paintbrush. And so go to that. And this brings up you know, the Galaxy Themes menu, and you can see the built-in wallpapers that you already have. You can actually go to their wallpaper store, but we don't have it connected to the internet right now, so it won't load. And you can also download additional ones here if you want to view all. So there's some that you have to download. Uh, this is a multi-pack. This is the default one. So basically, every time you open the phone, it'll be slightly different. There's all kinds of different choices. Uh, one interesting thing to note is that they all have a dark corner where this little punch out for the camera goes. So they learn from Apple to just make that part dark in their wallpaper so that people don't notice the notch or the missing piece as much. So if you like this one, you can set it as a wallpaper and now it's been applied. So this is the whole pack. You can select specific ones as well. Um, so now let's go back. So here we are. And every time you switch this on and off, it should switch. Yeah. So let's go back up there. And uh, let's just pick a normal single one. And now you have the ch choice of adding it to the home screen or the lock screen or both. So let's do uh, home screen and just test it out. Also, you can select this, the motion effect. So if we turn this one on and set as a wallpaper, uh, let's go back to the home screen. And now you should see it sort of move slightly as the uh, phone is tilted. Yeah, here you can see it. Basically, like these ripples are moving relative to the edge, depending on the orientation of the phone. So it gives you some depth effect, basically, similar to an iPhone. Okay, let's go back and do it one more time. Last but not least, you can also choose photos off of your phone, you know, from your regular camera or whatever you've saved from the internet. So if you have some pictures of your family or whatever, just go to gallery, which is the first choice here, and that brings up, you know, the phone's uh, photo album. So just pick whatever you want. So let's pick this one and now you can set it as home screen, lock screen, etc. So home screen, and you should be able to adjust the size and placement here. So there you go, and you can do motion effect as well. So the reason why it zooms when you click this is because it has to have some spare edge around for the tilting. So anyway, set that as wallpaper, and now let's go check that out. So there we are with the penguin, and it does move a little bit. So there you have it, that's how you change the lock screen and home screen on the Samsung Galaxy S10. If you guys have any questions, please do them below. Definitely check out other videos for this phone and many others here on Howtex. Bye. This video made possible by buymobile.com.au. SIM card is here on the bottom right. And there's also a very small notch here on the bottom right as well. You guys can see that. Um, there's also... Uh...